Hi everyone, in the latest update, we have added support for creating drawings or handwritten text inside your notes, inside your daily notes or regular notes. This works especially well if you have an Apple Pencil like this one, or on the iPhone, of course, it also works if you just draw with the finger, but writing works, of course, better if you have an Apple Pencil and an iPad. So here you see my iPad, which is running at the moment, and I have it flat on the table so I can draw with the Apple Pencil uh, comfortably. And I'm starting to edit the note. And now the, you see the toolbar comes up. And on the far right side, we have the menu button. And then you tap on the drawing button here to start the drawing. And this opens up the complete palette of pencils and um, eraser, marker, and everything, and also colors. I recommend to use black or white if you're in dark mode, because it will automatically translate Black will automatically translate to white or white to black, depending on if you have the device in dark mode or light mode. And also it will adapt to no plans, to this theme you have selected for no plan if it's dark or light. So here is how it looks like. So you can, um, for example, journal inside this canvas. And then you tap or you can make a meeting note or you can sketch down a couple of tasks if you prefer the pencil over the keyboard in this case. Usually if you use the pencil, you um, add the information a bit more slowly and you have more time to think about it. So uh, let's tap on done. So it adds it to the note. And now what we can do is uh, long press the um, handwritten note or the drawing or whatever you have added. And now we have also a couple of new options here. So you can either edit it, you can keep working on it. You can also erase something and so on. So let's say edit this here, saved it. And then you can go back to it or you can also just tap once to open it again and erase the strokes so it's not saved as a picture or something actually it still has all the information so but another interesting feature is you uh, long press the uh, handwritten text works well with handwritten text of course and then you tap on transcribe and this will send it to OpenAI to the latest model gpt 40 and translate the, the image into actual text so you see it uh, has done it here, uh, hello world. Um, but let's do something a bit more complicated because you also want to have something like tasks in here, for example. So let's erase this actually and add some tasks. So no plan tasks are uh, start with a circle in the beginning. So for example, call John, um, write the rip Port. Or you can also have bullet points, um, either like a bullet point or a dash would also do. Um, some info, just something. And let's also add a, a checkbox. Okay, let's close it, save it, and now long press and transcribe. So you see the text, tasks, bullets, checklists, everything. And uh, you don't need to do these extra steps here, actually. You can also, inside the canvas, you can also tap on the transcription button on the top right. And it does the same thing. So you don't need to actually save it and then long press and so on. You can keep the image or you can just delete it from here because you already have it as the text. So now it's a task. You can check it off, drag it around and so on. So now the... Um, Another thing you can do with this, so let's say, so it's, it becomes very useful if you are in a meeting. So now in the meeting, you don't need to use your um, keyboard or the magic keyboard and hide behind the uh, iPad and type away, which might, if you have other people in the meeting, they don't really know if you're paying attention or if you're just on Instagram or whatever, or on, on Reddit, I don't know. Um, but if you have the iPad flat on the table, and use the Apple Pencil, just like a normal pencil, like you would use a normal pencil to take notes inside the meeting. Um, you appear much more attentive to the meeting, I guess. So this is one advantage. But what you can also do is you can create flow charts here, of course. Like this is, uh, let's say, note plan. And here we have open. AI. That's like we have this one, and then we can also transcribe it. 
let's see what it says. Well, no plan, open AI. So this kind of works as well. Um, it will try if it doesn't find um, handwritten text here, though there's some, it will try to explain the diagram, if it's a diagram, as much as it can. So this is the other advantage of this. Uh, so basically you can translate images, any kinds of images you have uh, created with your finger or with the Apple Pencil directly into text. And of course this is uh, also, you can keep the text as it is, for example for diagrams, it becomes very handy to add some of these sketches to your notes. So I hope you like this new feature and see you next time.